Social injustice exists everywhere in school. Whether it's sexual harassment, assault, or just plain cruelty, it's a serious issue that needs to be stopped. Problems in our school are not just limited to physical bullying like they were in the old days. stereotype of social injustices that are going on in our schools today, but let's see what's really going on. Oh my god. Hey man, can I sit here? Can't you see this table's full, buddy? It's kind of empty. Well, it's not. See, it's full. In today's world, people often use social media in the wrong ways. Obviously, this isn't all the problems that are happening in Chanhassen today. Let's, now let's go to some students and see what their input is. I think the biggest social injustice in this school right now is sexism towards males. Because I, I honestly, I come in late to a class. Oh, I, I, I get tardy. When the girl comes in late for class, she gets, she's fine. Oh, stupid teachers. The biggest and most influential form of, um, Injustice in society has got to be racism, but there's no way you can stop it. It's an epidemic, and it needs to be destroyed! I think the biggest form of social injustice is sexuality in a way, because people use gay like too much to describe things, like that's so gay, or why are you being so gay? And I don't really know like how you can fix that since it's such a main thing in the media right now. Hi, I'm Hunter Peterson, and I'm a sophomore here at Chan Aston High School, and I just ran the mile, so I'm kind of sweaty. Um, I'd say probably the biggest form of social injustice in our school is just when people want to be different, it seems like other people are opposed to that. Now, I'm speaking like in terms of how they want to dress, even sexual orientation. Some people even like get made fun for their race, and that's just not right. But I think it's not that people just harbor a strong hate for those groups for no reason. I think it's just that they don't understand the groups themselves or the ideas behind them. And so that's why they're so opposed to it, because they're just afraid of what they don't know. I'd say overall it's probably the biggest social injustice in our school, maybe even just in general. Um, I'd say the best way to prevent this and eliminate it is probably just to educate people, because if you let them know about it, it'll kind of scale down their fear and They'll become more open to the idea over time. And I'd say the best advocates for this are us, the students ourselves, because a lot of change occurs with young people, because we just feel very strongly about our beliefs and we fight for them. We, the people, need to come together as one. Family. We need to be the advocates and hang out with everybody.